Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Rent Prep for Landlords. This is episode number 313, and we're going to be talking about creative marketing techniques to get more eyeballs on your listings, whether that be you know, for your rental property and you're trying to get a tenant in, or perhaps you're trying to sell a property. Uh, we're going to be uh, talking about that. The influence for today's episode came from a really funny viral uh, listing that is uh, happening right now in California. And uh, it's uh, got a pretty funny little, uh, if you want to call it, uh, Easter egg inside of the photos of the listing. And I'm going to explain what that is all about right after this. Welcome to the Rent Prep for Landlords podcast. And now your host, Eric Worrell. So I don't even know where I came across this um, post. It was, you know, probably something on a Facebook group or maybe just, uh, you know, saw it on Reddit or something like that. But uh, actually, I just remembered there's somebody I'm friends with on Facebook who's not even into real estate, but she's like, you need to check out these, uh, the photos on this listing. Make sure you look at them all. So I saw there was a Zillow house for sale or house for sale that was on Zillow. And I started going through these pictures and it's a beautiful house. It's uh, in a town called Felton, California, which is, uh, it looks like it's just a little south of San Jose, kind of like the Bay Area out there. And they're listing it for $999,000, five bedroom, three bath, 1,800 square feet. That's right, 1,800 square feet, a uh, million dollars. I got a lot of California pricing, but I mean, it's a beautiful lot, like gorgeous uh, trees uh, and then uh, just a really neat looking house. And the photos are gorgeous as well. And as you're going through them, let me count here. You get about uh, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, about 23 pictures in on the listing. And I will link to this if you haven't uh, already seen this in today's show notes. You see like this uh, Sasquatch, this Yeti sitting there and he's playing uh, playing a little guitar on the uh, porch and just kind of hanging out. And it's a really impressive costume too. Like this is like legit like Yeti costume. And then you go like four more uh, pictures and then you see that same character uh, reading the magazine on the uh, beautiful outdoor porch. Then you see him reading inside and the uh, title of the book is Edible Mushrooms, which is kind of funny. Uh, then you see him on a Zoom call with somebody. You see him baking. So he's got oven mitts on. He's making cookies. Uh, and then uh, he's just in all these funny situations throughout the house. My favorite probably being one where he's got both his hands wrapped around on a coffee cup like it's like you know he's having his zenful morning cup of coffee while he stares out into the distance <laughs> and uh he's doing yoga and uh exercising and all this crazy stuff so i know my friend uh that posted it we just thought it was just kind of funny or whatever but as a marketer i looked at this and uh, well perhaps my new favorite uh the last image they have is him leaving in a car and he has a mask on uh for uh you know covid19 <laughs> <laughs> but the really cool thing about this listing, right? Like I said, $999,000. It has been on the market for 11 days. The view count, because uh, Zillow shows you how many views and saves the property has. It has 644,000 views and 5,400 saves, over 5,400. So I went into Zillow and I looked up um, other, uh, I put some filters on and looked at other places that are uh, listed for sale that are close by in Fenton, California uh, for a similar price just to kind of get like an idea. So I found this other house is $975,000 and um, it has been on Zillow for 137 days and has 2,400 or 2,467 views and 25 saves. So out of those 644,000, I mean, obviously like that's great. You're getting all these views. Of course, you know, 99% of them are people like me that have no interest in buying the house. They just think it's funny because they saw it posted somewhere, but that's cool. But you got to imagine if just a half a percent of somebody uh, that went there just to see it because it was funny looks at it and goes, you know what? That's my dream house. I, I got to have it. I'm going to go buy that house. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with it. Maybe I can get this realtor on the show to talk about his experience of doing this and if he's done this in other ways. But a really clever thing, and what they call this is like an Easter egg. Uh, maybe you've heard of this before. I know I learned about it like a few years ago. Uh, basically, you know, you, you hide something in something that's unexpected and then it kind of makes you laugh and uh, you get a you get a chuckle out of it. So this one, obviously, the Easter egg is the Yeti uh, is showing uh, off this house and all the different functionality of the house. 
So it got me thinking like for your rentals, uh, for your rental listings, would it make sense doing something like this? Is there something about your listing uh, that is fun or is unusual or unique? Uh, you know, is there is there some way that you might be able to get more exposure for your listings uh, by featuring something, you know, it doesn't have to be a Yeti, but maybe it could be something similar to that. And you could try it out for yourself. If you have a property that usually takes a little bit longer to rent, what I would do in that situation is I would try out an idea like this. And then, uh, you know, I'm sure you got somebody with a Halloween costume, right? Whether it's Chewbacca, the Jetty, you know, whatever it is, uh, you might have a good Halloween costume and then randomly plop it into some of the images. But then if you reach out to your local publications, uh, you know, maybe not the newspapers, they may not circulate th this, but if you look into like Twitter and who's got a good following locally in your area, you know, share it to them, share it in other ways. Uh, you may find that you end up getting a ton of eyeballs on your listings and be able to uh, rent that listing better, but more importantly, get a bigger tenant applicant pool. So if you go from having 20 people apply to 50, it sounds like a lot more work, but really if you have good systems set up, you should uh, be able to get a much better renter because the more people you have apply for your rentals, the better your odds are the, of you finding the right renter uh, for your rental property. So uh, that's just one idea that comes to mind uh, is just kind of mimicking this and seeing if you can do it in your own way. And I'm sure somebody's got that Halloween costume sitting around that they can do it. And again, like I mentioned, I will have the images uh, or the link to the Zillow posting for as long as it's available on um, House May Sell Soon, uh, available if you guys want to check that out. Other ideas that come to mind, um, not so much, you know, fun viral type ideas, but I have been getting questions from people um, talking about their rental listings during this time of COVID-19. I got a good email from somebody that was saying, you know, like, I've noticed that uh, the qualifications to rent are starting to reduce in my neighborhood. And what he was saying was, uh, it was very standard to do first and last month's rent plus security deposit. And he said he was starting to see more and more security deposit plus first month's rent and people were dropping uh, that last month's rent and asking you know, what my thoughts were on it. And you know, not super insightful on my behalf, but basically like you kind of just got to listen to your local market. And if you're gonna do what you've always been doing, and then suddenly you start seeing, you know, I used to get a ton of response for this and now I'm only getting a few leads and they're not great. Yeah, I, I would take the time to look at what's going on. Just do some research, it's not too hard. Um, you know, go on Zillow or, you know, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace and look at some uh, comparable listings to yours, you know, set the price filters down. So you're only seeing people that are in your area for a similar price and just see what they're asking. Uh, you know, are they, are they changing things? Does it seem like they're maybe even asking for less rent because you don't want to, you know, be caught like being the guy that's still asking for the moon and everybody else lowered their standards and you can't fill that rental property because of it. So I think because of COVID-19, it is a good idea to go back and look at what you're offering and if it's competitive compared to what the marketplace uh, is showing in your area, because that's always a good idea to do that. And the other thing I mentioned to him is he said he was, you know, getting less and less uh, uh, traction. And I know I've mentioned this on past episodes, but I really do believe Facebook Marketplace is gobbling up quite a bit of um, uh, Craigslist uh, listings. Uh, and that's not just for rental properties, that's just for selling stuff, everything. But I, I'm pretty sure I, I read that uh, they have surpassed Craigslist for um, rental listings uh, as far as how many are being posted and responded to. So if you're not on there yet, it is a pain in the butt because people are going to message you and your your Facebook Messenger inbox is going to get blown up. But hey, it's definitely an area if you're, if you're willing to deal with that nuisance, um, you can get some good traction there on leads. So uh, that's that's going to be about it for today's episode. Uh, it's kind of a tough one because it's a podcast and I feel like the images are so funny. Uh, another one of my favorite ones is they actually just took a picture of this uh, Bigfoot in the woods and he's walking and he's doing that classic like Bigfoot look, you know, like he just got spotted as he's walking. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good too. Yeah, uh, you guys can check that out in today's show notes. Uh, just look for episode 313 and uh, you'll see the images or the link to uh, the featured uh uh, listing for that property. All right, guys, I uh, hope you've had a good week and um, you know, hanging in there. And I look forward to catching up with you guys next week. Have a great week and take care. Uh -huh.